Each episode, Zupa and I will be opening one box of a Yu-Gi-Oh! Booster set. We both will build a deck and play a best of three match, and if one of us is able to pull off consistent wins, that will give them the opportunity to redeem special rewards. Every following episode, we will be opening a new set in chronological release order, with new cards to upgrade our decks in preparation of facing each other again in a duel. This is a Yu-Gi-Oh! progression series. Well, um, happy new years and new year's resolution number one, don't get too old again. And maybe Ancient Sanctuary will help with that. There's definitely a few cool cards that we can talk about in this set. Um, we get the final evolution of the Gaga Gigo line, I guess, because this guy has like a whole bit of law surrounding him and Marauding Captain. A new archetype gets introduced in Agents. Um, these are kind of high rarity, especially Mars and Saturn, as well as the Sanctuary in the Sky that belongs to those guys. So this might be shooting a bit too high, but Agent of Creation Venus is definitely a really cool card. Might see some play. There's a few zombie cards. Those might be interesting for Jaden. Uh, Vampire Lady is like semi-decent, I'd say. Um, Stone Statue of the Aztec has seen play in like uh, some meme decks defense otk is probably like the one that comes to mind the most a gear golem the moving fortress may be nice and yeah we move on to some rather nice one tributes uh blowback dragon being able to uh, once per turn target a card toss three coins and if or at least two results are heads um you get to pop that card um which is kind of neat removal i guess i would really like to play the uh to pull this guy just because i love like coin and dice based effects but you know my gambling addiction aside there's also a good one tribute in here uh in the bog the thunder monarch the first of many if he's tribute summoned you target a monster on the field destroy the target really simple just as any monarch um also really solid pickup honestly at the uh, super rare slot um mermaid knight might be something nice that we could tie into our a legendary ocean deck if we decide to go back on that um, Solar Flare Dragon, actually a really interesting card that could lead to some uh, burn shenanigans. Uh, Enemy Controller, really solid card, would be a very nice pickup as well. Uh, we got some, you know, legacy support in the form of Burst Stream of Destruction, being a Raigeki while you control the Blue Eyes. Uh, the Amplifier for Jinzo, uh, basically I think it only prevents Jinzo from negating your traps. Um, Got the Sanctuary in the Sky, as mentioned before. More fire support in Backfire. Uh, the Draining Shield could be something, maybe. We got some level 1s in here that get a lot of support. Spirit of the Pharaoh, probably one of the most, I guess, uh, hard to summon monsters in the game with like very little payoff, but it's, 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 it's just... I think it looks cool. The artwork's cool, eh? I guess. At least the art is cool. Smile. Um, what else do we have? There's a few more, I guess, um, dice-based cards down here. The Three Hump, the Cuda. Uh, Ghost Knight of Jackal is okay, I guess. Um, but I think we will find more interesting stuff later down the line. Stuff like Dark Coston, Regenerating Mummy, and Night Assailant especially. Flip, target a monster your opponent controls, destroy it, and if he's sent from hand to graveyard, you target a flip monster in grave, accept himself, and return that target to hand. Will be a really solid pickup um, moving forward. Uh, King of the Swamp may be nice for some fusion-based strategies. Uh, maybe order to charge for some additional removal if we play something vanilla-based. Uh, level limit area B, a really powerful card early on. Dark Magic Attack to tie into Dark Magician to blow up the entire back row. Got the sarcophagi. I think that's the correct plural of sarcophagus. Um, for the spirit of the pharaoh. Uh, Curse of Anubis is kind of neat. Labyrinth of Nightmares, interesting to say the least. I might be looking to build something with that depending on how the pulls go. And capping off the set is another terrible secret rare, I feel like, in Mazera the Ville. Uh, I mean, End of Anubis is basically a level 6 Necro Valley. Um, but we'll see. I think there's definitely a few cool things to grab. And with all this out of the way, we'll probably be moving into tournament packs and then our box of Ancient Sanctuary. 
Okay, so we're back at the wheel. Um, I looked at uh, the the tournament packs, and after the after we opened it twice already, now I feel like it's not really worth going for anymore, since the only card we really want is the giant rat. We already got one, so it's fine. But um, in the Invasion of Chaos, there is a handful of solid cards, so I'm just gonna go for that uh, for the spin. We'll see what happens. Uh, if I get like a, a secret or an ultra rare, I'm gonna grab a Black Cluster Soldier. If I get a super or a rare, I'm gonna probably grab Compulse, because there's not really any good super rares that I want. So I'll just grab a Compulse, because I got zero of them. And if I get a common, well... I don't know. I'm probably just gonna get a super, or uh, I'm probably gonna get a secret, and then... Uh, it's gonna be fucking scripted as always. Oh, never mind, we're getting rare. Okay. That's fine, I'm just gonna grab a uh, Compulse, and then... Uh, yeah, see you in the pack opening. With the... Pack overview taken care of. We will be moving on to our tournament packs first. We'll be opening three of those, hoping to maybe pick up giant rats. Kind of neat. I will be taking that. Uh, Hayabusa Knight, Magic Drain, and the Mad Sword Beast, and not a whole lot in the close. We'll be just adding that one to the collection. Additional copy of Giant Red is nice. And with this out of the way, we'll be moving into our box of Ancient Sanctuary. Okay, so um, I am a dumb bitch. And because of that, uh, the footage of me opening my box of Ancient Sanctuary is gonna be... Uh, is not usable. So instead, I'm going to just go through my polls and kind of Look at what's notable. Um, luckily, that there, there isn't a lot of cards that are really worth talking about. There is basically one card that is like really good, and then a couple other cards that are kind of neat that I probably are not even gonna see play. So the good card that I pulled was the Borg, the Thunder Monarch. Um, yeah, it is the first Monarch. When it's tribute summoned, you can destroy one monster on the field. That's pretty solid. Uh, I did not pull all the all the like foil pharaoh cards, so that strategy is off the table. I was consider I would have played it if I got it, just because of the you know for the meme. But other than that, um, unfortunately I didn't get that, so uh, I'm not gonna play that. I got a b blowback dragon in the first pack, um, so that's funny. I'm not gonna probably not gonna use it. I know Laval is gonna be happy about it if he pulls it. After that, we got the regenerating mummy. I made this is not bad for the zombie. If I ever go back to that, well back to that. If I ever try to put together a deck again, because last time I put it together and I was like, this is terrible. And I never played it in Prague. But um, I may now, because I actually have at least one place out of a good monster. Or, you know, like a good enough monster. So uh, maybe if I find enough uh, zombies, I'll go back to that. Other than that, there's like just n there's just nothing in this set. The set is so underwhelming. The uh, Wall of Revealing Light is a decent card. Backfire, I may try to put together another fire deck and see if uh, if I think it's worth playing. I don't. I don't pull any Infernos from last episode, so I don't have access to that, unfortunately. For the if I go with like a fire team the deck. Um, other than that, there's like nothing. Uh, King of the Swamp is nice because uh, when we get to fusions, but nothing right now really. That's about it. Um, Desert Appear I think does something. Um, he's a Book of Moon on flip, so it's fine. It's like kind of whatever. But um, yeah. See you in the uh, in the deck review. All right. Um. Yeah. Let's hope we can start the new year off strong with 24 packs of Ancient Sanctuary. Let's flip this up and see what we can get. Uh, Ancient of Creation Venus is kind of nice. I will be taking that. Could be neat for some chaos shenanigans, maybe. But I will see. A Legacy Hunter alongside the first copy of Night Assailant. This will probably see a lot of play. Ooh, a Solar Flare Dragon. That is kind of interesting. Maybe we'll build something fiery with that. A Labyrinth of Nightmare. If I'm not completely wrong, this is the first one. We will see if we cannot do something with that. And a Solar Flare Dragon to back that up. A the end of Anubis. That's interesting to say the least, I'd say. Um, it's definitely a cool secret rare. We'll have to see if we can find a way to put this in our deck. Ooh, second night assailant and an agent of judgment, Saturn. 
Uh, I think if your life points are lower than your opponent's, you can tribute them to burn your opponent for the difference. Let me find that out real quick. E if your life points are higher than your opponent's, you can tribute them to uh, burn your opponent, but you will require a face up the sanctuary in the sky to resolve that effect. There's a third night assailant. That's kind of nice, not gonna lie. Um, We'll see how much advantage we can take off this guy, I guess. Last few packs coming up. Um, nothing too huge, I would say, up until this point. Um, but we'll see what the last two packs bring for us. I'm still holding out my luck. I think that's definitely our third soul of the deck. I'm still holding out my luck for this slot here. Maybe pick up as a Borg or a Blowback Dragon would be absolutely huge. And there's the third Agent of Wisdom, Mercury, I want to say. Uh, sadly, we only got one Venus, if we even got, like, Mystic Shine Balls at all. Um, do we even, did we even get any? Wait, is that even in the set? I'd need to check that later. Um, but this definitely makes me think. I think three Night Assailant will be, like, nice for... A solid while, I guess. Uh, how many Labyrinth of Nightmare did we pull? That is like something I am concerned about. Uh, it doesn't look like much. It doesn't. Oh, it does look like we only pulled one. Well, isn't that sad? <laughs> I guess I'll have to wait and see what I can come up with. And yeah, with that, I'll probably just save this to the collection and reconnect with you guys once I got my deck ready. Okay, so this is what we are bringing to today's episode. Um, I decided to try Chaos because I kind of felt uh, I felt like it should be played at least by one of us at some point. Uh, each of us pulled one of the big Chaos boss monsters. I pulled Zed and he pulled VLS. And um, yeah, I thought it would be nice to kind of at least give, shot, give it a shot at some point. So yeah, uh, the deck is pretty much just kind of standard. Uh, Chaos stuff. We have some darks. We have the you know the three uh, three chaos cards that I wanted to play. I chose to side the third chaos sorcerer because just so it's not too much. And uh, I think the rest of the deck also is kind of solid, so we're not like fully relying on the chaos kind of stuff. So um, yeah, uh, we have free hysteric fairy as a light beater. The effect is essentially useless, but um, it's uh, the fact that it has an effect is really nice because it go goes well with ceasefire. We have Jinzo because we're playing uh, you know free mystic tomato, so it makes sense to just play that as well. We have one Kaiku that's gonna be nice for getting stuff out of his graveyard if he goes some sort of chaos route. We have one magician of fate. I think one is fine. It's not a very aggressive card, so I uh, I don't want to run too many of them. Uh, mystic tomato it just floats into uh, at least a couple of cards in our deck. We have uh, we have a roulette barrel. Um, which is under target for Shining Angels, and also it is a decent card, it's a 2k wall, and it's, it's it has an okay effect. We have one Tsukuyomi because it's a really nice card, also it's a dark, so it's ever, if it's ever sent to the graveyard we can uh, use it for chaos stuff. We have Witch, it's just basically our whole deck. We have the Zaborg, which is the main difference between this the, the, the way that the deck is now and th that it was for last episode, even if I didn't play it last episode, but it was considered. We have two Zombira, it's a really nice beater, I love this card a lot. I also have two Mad Dog of Darkness. I thought I would need a little bit more kind of a, you know, attack power, so I decided to play two of these. Third one in the side in case I feel like I need more, but I probably won't. Um, we have one Dark Hole. Uh, the rest is kind of just like the standard stuff, I guess. Nothing really like major, I think, that pops out. And the Compulse, of course, which I just got from the um, nice spin. I'm very happy about that. And the side, we just kind of have more of stuff. Uh, mostly just more stuff in case I want to play, you know, more. Uh, more Mad Dog or more uh, another Chaos Sork, uh, Magician of Fate, stuff like that. And here we have some traps in case he tries to go with Chaos as well. Which I have a feeling he might, but uh, we'll see. And then Extra Deck is kind of just uh, random shit, so uh, yeah. Uh, I really can't wait to try, to try this deck out and uh, see you in the battle. Well, you know what they say. Uh, new year, new me, but uh, the same old deck, I guess. Um, we are bringing Gravekeepers back. Um, already in a variant that I was considering last week uh, when Invasion of Chaos came out. Uh, we are running Black Luster Soldier as well as some lights to kind of more easily facilitate that. The Gravekeeper lineup is a bit slimmed down. We uh, dropped Assailant, um, just running Chief, Spear Soldier, Double Spy and Three Guard. 
Uh, Freed, Exiled Force, Triple Mystic Tomato. Very nice that we have those. Uh, Witch of the Black Forest, two Night Assailant. This is a new addition. We will probably make good use of that. Um, not only due to the inherent nature of a lot of the really good Gravekeepers being flip monsters at the moment, um, but also because this is a very nice piece of removal and essentially gives us more flips that can trade one-to-one -one with Jaden. Um, I threw in the one Apprentice Magician we have to kind of uh, have an additional floater that floats into Magician of Faith. And uh, these two are already easy set up for the BLS that we are playing. Uh, otherwise, spell lineup also fairly standard. Necro Valley, Terraforming, Heavy Storm, Pot of Greed, Snatch the Monster Reborn, Reinforcement of the Army. We have talked about these cards multiple times before. Uh, my body has a shield, again, a three off. We are still expecting Sakuret to armor, as Jaden as well as me didn't get any com compulses or mostly, you know, destruction based removal. Uh, Nobleman of Extermination kind of for some more back row removal. I threw in a copy of Yami to have an additional field spell to deal with uh, her Gaia powers. Um, just because this boosts most of the Gravekeepers and most of our other monsters, as uh, since those happen to be spell casters. Um, two Dust Tornado, two Regeki Break. Nothing surprising here. The Trap Jammers in here to kind of more combat the uh, Battle Traps Jaden has been rocking the last few weeks. Uh, Mirror Force and the Sakuretsu Armors essentially as another copy of my body. Uh, Ring of Destruction, Solemn Judgment, Torrential Tribute and Magic Cylinder as our really big trap cards. Uh, we will be trying to take full advantage of those again. The side deck is prepared for when uh, the chaos does not ensue. Uh, we are playing the end of Anubis just as an additional boss monster. Uh, 2500 on a one tribute isn't a terrible body, and this also benefits from Yami. Uh, it's also searchable of which, so um, we won't have problems seeing this guy and hope he can secure us a W. Um, Zombie Rather Dark, if we need additional beat sticks. Um, again, these lights will probably get uh, sighted out for those. Uh, Cliff the Trap Remover for some trap removal uh we have the two copies of tsukiyomi in here just because we can take great advantage of those <clears throat> rounding out the side deck are the spiritualism for additional back row removal uh, fisher smashing ground in case we need remove monster removal going second so release in the case of jaden really committing to a chaos based strategy and bottomless trap hole as an additional out for chaos monsters um <clears throat> This week will be interesting, to say the least, um, as I do have some ideas for next week already, and this is kind of, you know, taking a day from last week, uh, rolling that up again, and seeing how it, how it fares. I definitely feel good about this, because the Gravekeepers haven't disappointed me in the past, really, um, so we will see what happens this time. And yeah, with all that out of the way, I think it is very much time to duel. Um... What a terrible fucking set, dude. <laughs> Holy shit. I was gonna... Okay, I mean, if you wanna start like that, you know, go ahead. I was oh, gonna yeah, be like, yeah, it, it, it surely is an underwhelming set coming after Invasion of Chaos. And then you just go, well, what a terrible fucking set this one was. I mean, we could have opened, like, I don't know, like, Blazing Vortex or something before this, and it would still seem fucking terrible, so... I mean, you know, Warrocks smile <laughs> i mean true but like you know it's considered not a great but set. yeah that's not a that's not a whole lot i definitely have to agree like um i told you this um there's like a few things i was talking out for but in general i completely understand it it is underwhelming because yeah um so yeah let's uh let's let's uh do the rock paper scissors thing yep i'm glad my uh audio mishap happened on this set because it was so fucking boring <laughs> <laughs> well then, uh, good luck. <laughs> good luck. Let's see how this one works. Okay, let's see. I should probably draw. <laughs> uh, I mean, we can start off with this. I'm going to set a card. So I'm just gonna pass. Oh, that's a that's a very that's a start. A standby main. That's a start. I think I will start off strong with the terraforming. Damn, is it a gravekeeper uh, or what is it called, necro valley? Does, or, does, does uh, the terraforming the resolve first? Does the it resolves. Question. I don't have a. Uh, I don't have ash no, blossom. No ash yet. blossom. Okay. Um, yeah, we don't have that in ancient it. centuries. <laughs> hey, he's valley. back on the good deck. Uh, the good deck, my. <laughs> <laughs> I mean. Um, I mean. Let's let's follow that up up with uh, something even better. Uh, pot of greed. 
Ah, uh, yeah. Again, I don't have a, I don't have an ash. So. Don't have an ash. <laughs> I like to hear it. I'll fire the necro valley. That's fine. And I will normal summon gravekeeper spear soldier. Mhm. Mm I'll proceed wait. to combat <laughs> and again. attempt to swing into the face down. It is a mystic tomato. I'll take four hundred. Nine hundred. And can I? All right. Necro valley. My bad. Yeah, I forget you that. You can go stuff. ahead and summon. Okay, what do we want to summon off of Mystic Tomato? Uh, let's see. I don't think I have a lot of targets. Mm. I mean, you playing Tomato again is already... It is it is, it is something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm going to summon a... Actually, it has to go on attack, right? Yeah, it yep. has to go on attack. Has to it's going to be a Witch. I mean, it doesn't matter right now. Yep. Uh, I'll main two. Let me commit a very interesting set for and pass on. Okay, heavy. I don't even have heavy storm, do I? <laughs> <laughs> it's a heavy. No. It's a heavy storm. <laughs> oh, how did this heavy get here? <laughs> Remote to USB line. <laughs> Where did this feather duster come from? Hmm. Hmm. Oh, it's in a different sleeve? Oh, fuck, a dude, my mistake. Sleeve? Oh, my mistake, man. <laughs> Okay, main phase one. Must have missed uh, that while re-sleeving the decks, my. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Alright, let's try the good old Snatch Steel. Uh, how does Tornado that? Does Tornado the Snatch Steel? Um, that's fine. Do you want to set another spell or trap card I from I am not hand? going to set another spell or trap from hand, no. Okay, this gonna suck, not gonna lie. I'm gonna attempt to Smashing Ground. Ooh, that is... A thinker. <clears throat> that is one of those thinkers. Um, I'll attempt to my body that. Damn. He just opened everything. <laughs> I mean, for back row, dude. Yeah, really I mean, terraforming pot of greed is kind of <laughs> nice, to be fair. It, yeah, it do be nice. Hey, I, I burned you for 1500. That's something. The burn is <laughs> <the> beginning. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're going to change this defense to take 100 points of damage less <laughs> it matters dude what if you throw another card i'm gonna summon i, I mean, mean it's uh, in, in in the i think it was the second game of dark crisis it mattered you know 100 points true against the fucking trap remover man trap remover man <laughs> what do i do here i guess i'll just i'll set up back row I'll fucking throw down a Shining Angel in attack. Ooh, Because yeah. he's 800 defense. <laughs> and I'm gonna pass. Uh, Playing an attack to avoid the damage, let's go. <laughs> I think on end phase I'll actually dust tornado that face down. Uh, it's a, uh, it is a Rigeki break. I'll take that, I'll draw for turn. Uh, standby main. I don't feel terrible about this. I mean, you have your fill spell out, you have a... I have a Spear Soldier, first of all. You have a Spear Soldier. <laughs> um, okay, main one. I think I will... Normal Summon Exile Force. Damn. Uh, that's okay. Tribute Exile, pop the Shining Angel. Mm -hmm. I'll combat 2k into 12. Okay, I take 800 and which will search, that is okay. That is completely fine, yeah. Okay, what can I even do, fucking do here? <laughs> can I pick this up? I can't, why is he so thick? <laughs> why is Ka why is Chaos Emperor Dragon so thick? <laughs> <laughs> it is not Chaos Emperor Dragon, damn it. <laughs> uh, let's see. Chief, I can't, I, I can't wipe the fear, the clap of my ass cheeks keeps <laughs> hurting all the gods. <laughs> <laughs> okay, dude. CD, um, CD. <laughs> um, Agent Solid wait, CD. Let me <laughs> look at the field a little bit. Okay. He's still, th he's also too fucking thick. Um, you mean the Chaos Sorcerer? No. No. <laughs> I was looking at the field. Looking and at the, the field the and guys the grave, just a little bit you know, too thick. Where there may be... No, no, I was looking at your, uh, how thick is your uh, guard man. Spear soldier, I mean... I don't know. Even in the in defense, he's 15. I'm gonna grab a... Uh, 
Some beer of the dark. That is going to happen, yeah. Mm. Mm hmm. Main phase two, I did commit my normal summon. I'll probably just pass then. I'm gonna draw. Okay, that's not terrible. But you already committed to another fucking place, so I'm gonna normal summon some beer. Is that fine? <laughs> that's going to be fine. Battle phase, attempt to kill your uh, spear soldier. I'll take a hundred. Whoa, and he's gonna lose two hundreds. I'm just gonna pass. I'll draw. Yep, uh, gameplay. Stand by main. Snatch steal. Uh, Into I'll cheese. set one, set another one, and pass turn. Nice, I'm gonna draw. <clears throat> Does this do anything? Not really. I guess we'll go with this. I'm gonna normal summon a mad dog of darkness. Is that okay? Um. Bum. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, battle phase. Uh, mm, I mean, what can you have? You can have like a spy, sure. I'm gonna normal summon. Uh, I'm gonna attack with um, zombie rare. It is a witch. Oh, can it's I a witch. Okay. And search? You can search. Is chief? Like, how much defense is chief? Uh, chief 1200. is 1200. Yeah. Um, Monka W. Face down monster reborn. <laughs> I'll grab. What do I grab? <laughs> There's a lot to grab here. Um, and see these too big. <laughs> I think I'll add a Mr. Tomato to hand. Mhm. Mm that is fine. And then the Mad Dog for 19. I will take 19. Mm, feels good, man. Uh, I normal summoned, so I'm gonna pass. Draw for. Okay, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Stand by <laughs> main. Um. I'm gonna banish a light in the dark. Banish a light in the dark and a necro valley smile. <laughs> well, doesn't. Oh, wait. Yeah, you need, like. You need chief to not be affected by necro valley or something. I do need chief for that, yeah. I'm gonna normal summon chief. With no more, mo with no more monsters no on the more field. I'm gonna on normal the field, summon, summon chief. Gravekeeper's chief. <laughs> then banish a two darks. Uh. You know, almost at three, you know. I'm gonna drop that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That'd be kind of sick for this deck. Uh, I think I will just eh, set another monster and pass turn. Okay, I'm gonna draw. Uh, do we fire this off? I think we could. Yeah, nobleman of Extermination. Uh, this one. Uh, the one next to the set? Uh, yeah. It is a My Body. Okay, Pog. That's like two out of uh, two out of three. Decorate. At least I'm seeing mm -hmm. my body this week, you know. <laughs> true, true. Um, battle phase, swing with Zombira. Uh, tomato. That's fine. Uh, summon a <coughs> another tomato. Another tomato. Why are you using the shitty artwork? Artwork, by the way. I like this one more. It's terrible. Look at it. It's fucking gross. Mine is a lot better. Uh, okay. What do we grab with this one? Look at that artwork. Um. Oh, this is gonna be a good one. Um, I'll summon an apprentice magician. Are you gonna place this pen counter? <laughs> uh, I'm Any going spell to. Counters? Uh, I don't even have a card that I can uh, place a spell counter on, so I can't even mm -hmm. do that. I don't have I'm a mighty master of magic on the field. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay, main phase two. I did a normal summon. You did I'm gonna set a card and pass. I'll draw for time. Stand by main. Uh, I'll just put this to the fence, I guess. <coughs> mm -hmm. And then we will be. Will we be doing that? Uh... Pass. I'll probably set this just to be safe, and then I mm -hmm. can go I'm gonna draw. Yes. Okay, um... I'm gonna flip summon a ru roulette barrel, is that fine? Ooh, a roulette barrel, yeah, the flip summon of roulette barrel is fine. Okay, I'm gonna attempt to do the effect. Go ahead, roll your two okay, dice. roll two dice? Yep. Okay. Come on, give me a two. Let's go, dude! All right. <laughs> It's a four. Uh, no, I'm gonna pop my mad dog. <laughs> <laughs> pop the mad dog. I assume you're going to. Yeah, I'm gonna go for the apprentice. Let's go the apprentice again. Magician. 
I'm showing off my pure Yu-Gi-Oh skill. <laughs> Okay, uh, yeah. we're gonna go to combat. Zombiro's gonna go into the face down. He has 17. Uh, 17, then you will be taking 700 here. Uh, alright, oh cause fucking Necro Alley. It 700 is a guard, uh, uh, I think I will guard bounce that mad dog. Okay, he goes to hand. Main 2, I did a normal summon. Oh, you didn't know? Yeah, cause the roulette was a uh, flip. Uh, I think on that summon I will actually try and chill. Oh my god. Um. Fuck you, dude. <laughs> what? That's rude. <laughs> that is just rude. <laughs> I guess that wasn't the worst exchange, exchange ever. Uh, I'm gonna place that card face down and pass. I'll draw for turn, stand by me. Uh, I'll normally summon another Mystic Tomato. Is that okay? Um, that's fine. I'll proceed to combat. Uh, 14. Mm -hmm. I'll take the 14. I'll main to set a card and pass to I'll draw. Does that out it? That does not out it. Holy fuck. Why, why, this card is actually bad. How was this card ever, like, good? <laughs> <laughs> you tell me. <laughs> <laughs> um. Go. Oh, uh, I'll draw for turn. Stand by main. I'll set one. Combat, another 14. Uh, that's fine. Alright. Uh, also, on. unrelated notes. I really love the artwork of Necro Valley. <laughs> it is pretty nice, yeah. I'm gonna draw. Interesting. Random Actually, thought. Interesting? Necro Valley has good art. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, I'm gonna Dark Wall. Ooh. Yeah, that's a big one. Knight Assailants, Oh, That's a new card, by the way, Smile. Yeah, and I saw it in the uh, the pack opening. That <laughs> do be a card, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna normal summon a Mystic Tomato of my own. Is that okay? That is going to be fine, yeah. Battle phase, swing for 14. Uh, thinking, actually. Oh, no, the Mystic Tomato is too strong. I think I'll... Take 14. Nice. Damage step? No. <laughs> Damage step. Dark Honest. I'll draw for turn. Uh, stand by me. Does that only work in like uh, monster on monster combat or something yeah, like that? It does. Yeah. It does. <laughs> um, so, like, honest news where you just give your card fucking 1500. Doesn't do a whole lot, my <laughs> no. I'll fire. Too strong. I'll attempt to fire a nobleman targeting the back row. Uh, can this card resolve once? It's fucking Mirror Force. It has it not resolved cannot. since, like, Magic Ruler. Yeah, it has been a hot minute. Um, yeah. I was thinking, like, maybe this time. I could have fired it off against your tomato yeah, and not taken, like, 2800, but it's fine. Okay. I mean, we'll go fucking again, I guess. Mm. Got you a two-turn clock. On a two-turn clock. Do I like being on a two-turn clock is the big question. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I think I'll fire the magic cylinder now. Better late than never. Mm, that's scary. <laughs> I know. I'm gonna... Just fuck it. I'm gonna normal summon Tsukuyomi. <laughs> I'm uh, gonna will you be my... using the effect? All right. <laughs> yeah, I, I think it's mandatory. Uh, yes, yeah, Sukiyomi actually is mandatory. True. Yeah, so I have to use true, the true. effect. True, I'm gonna flip true. it in end phase. I'm gonna pick up my Sukiyomi. Yep. And pass. I will draw for time. Insane strategy, <laughs> dude. <laughs> <laughs> I'm scared you're gonna drop. I mean, if you like have enough to uh, out me, like to win, you're, it's probably enough. Uh, no matter what, but. I feel a little bit safer with uh, the, the, the tomato being in defense. Understandable, understandable. Ah, it started off so good. <laughs> um, it's been rough for me the entire time. Jesus Christ. Okay. I'm gonna giant grenade. Oh. Yeah, that resolves. Okay, uh, this should be game. I'm gonna flip some on tomato. Is that okay? Yeah, that is fine. Normal hysteric theory, is that okay? And yeah, that is fine and game. Nice. Oh my god, dude. Imagine okay. firing terraforming fucking pork, getting a torrential for three. 
the losing. That is just the pure skill. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Snatch steel strikes again. <laughs> and we can see how terrible the game 2 goes. <laughs> That's gonna be fine. Um, I'll go first. Good luck. Mm -hmm. mm, okay, I will draw for my turn. I'll stand by main. Uh, let's set one. Set three and pass turn. Dino Raffia Posh. <laughs> Dino Raffia Posh. Oh, dude, I would love to be playing Dino Raffia right now. <laughs> Especially with <laughs> new cards. Dino Raffia against Normal Summon. Yep. Mystic Tomato Pass, yep. Just go Normal Summon, Theresia, Effect Veiler Smile. <laughs> no? Okay. Okay, well, uh, I had to go in it. Uh, Mystic Tomato. That, that okay? Uh, Mystic Tomato's okay, yeah. Swing. Uh, 500. And the tomato goes back to your hand. It's kind of uh, super rude, um, in it? I mean, oh, a guard doesn't need website. to be nice, you know? <laughs> oh, he doesn't look nice. Anyways, I'm gonna set two, and please don't fuck me with the uh, dust tornado. Mm, I'll draw for turn. Stand by me. Mm -hmm. mm. Terrifying. Mm -hmm. I feel like Necroville really is glued to my hand, even if I have only one copy, it's amazing. <laughs> Uh, I'll fire Necro Valley. Okay, I can say the same for another uh, certain card I have one of. I mean, at least I have I have one way to search it, you know? <laughs> True. I'll swap All this right. guard to attack. I have my skill to search it. Uh, and enter battle, combat, uh, for 15. That's fine. I'll need <coughs> to set a card and pass time. Mm -hmm. I'll draw. Damn. <laughs> Okay. Well, that's something. <laughs> it is something, yeah. It is something. How the fuck does this interaction work? It doesn't. <laughs> okay, let's say I have a, a face down card, right? Yeah, you have a face down card. And it's a flip monster. You attack into it, it flips. Yes. Hmm. It would flip at end of damage step and the effect would be applied then. Can I chain... When do I have a, 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 a chance to respond uh, after it, it has been flipped? Uh... But before it leaves the field. Or if I do, um, I think they're. Let me let me piece this together, cause um, it flips. Cause I think um, cause, cause the issue calc. is um, flip a f wait. Okay, let me let me look this up real quick. You know. Okay, I'm gonna set a card. Yep. That's a turn, boys. <laughs> uh, I'll draw for turn. Stand by main. I'll. This is rough. <laughs> I don't rough? like this. Um, Dino Rough. Dino Rough is good. Dino Rough is good. I, I like Dino Rough. Um, can I play that next week? <laughs> <laughs> Fusion Summon Kent yeah. Regina Smile? <laughs> yeah, we're just doing a uh, fucking Battle of Chaos uh, after this. Yep. <laughs> the set was so underwhelming, we decided to open the new fucking set just open, to like... <laughs> open, open, open the set that's not even out in the TCG yet. <laughs> yeah, we're got, we mean, I mean, who needs it? Ah, uh, I need it. Drop the Konami HQ mm. to mm. get the boxes. I think I'll... Do I do this? I'll attempt to flip summon another Gravekeeper's Guard. Is the flip summon okay? Yeah, I'm kind of fucked up. Um... I'm gonna chain Ceasefire. Which flips my tomato. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Is if that's fine. Uh yeah, there's fine face of monster on effect monsters on the fear. Change all face on defense position monsters on the fear, flip monsters effects are not activated. Does ceasefire only apply to the monsters flipped? Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, I fucked up the timing. Yeah, you, you, your uh, guards the results. Because then guards the results. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I should have activated it like at the uh, so I'll maybe, take like, draw phase or something. Fifteen, 15. of this, and yeah. uh, your tomato still gets bounced. Yep. Um, we do be entering combat. Uh, attempt to swing for fifty. I'll take uh, free game. Oh, you'll take all of this then. Uh, main two. No fear, mirror force. Or is there a mirror force? <laughs> Uh, main two, I'll pass. Mm -hmm. This may be a quick one. Damn, you ever just play like 10 beaters and then open zero? <laughs> I don't know, I'm gonna fucking uh... nobleman this. Now he's gonna be at the storm dust or whatever. It's oh, it's torrential, torrential tribute. tribute. <laughs> okay, that's good. It is torrential. So it is a very impactful hit, to be honest. Yeah, I'm gonna set a card. And pass. I'll end phase, like Geki break, discarding right Geki break, pop the face down. Oh, for fuck's sake. Uh, thinking. Okay, so if I don't protect this, I just lose. I'm gonna solemn judgment that. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Jesus. What's that? Two for one trade. Two <laughs> cool one stand by main. Ah, that solemn was kind of big. I mean, yeah, it did save me the game. But I'm still gonna fucking... I'm not in a great position still. Mm. <laughs> but I can remember the uh, the other one, the Dark Crisis match. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Oh, that's still a tomato. <laughs> Is it? Uh, I'd assume as much. Um, nah. I don't know what else you would it's be setting barrel. right now. Um, it's roulette barrel. I'll just combat 15 into the face down. It was in fact a tomato. It, it, what a twist. <laughs> what a twist. <laughs> I could I could have never <clears throat> predicted this. What? It's a tomato? No way. I'm going to bring out uh, another tomato. Yeah, that's a thing. If I run over this 100, you can still bring out the third tomato or a witch, which is not great, uh, pun intended. Um, you don't want it. I think I'll just main two, set another one, swap this card to defense, and pass down. I'll draw. Damn. Any monsters, Dueling Book? Any usable monsters, that is. I mean, we can we can keep it at that, you know. I think, you know, I can fulfill my New Year's resolution here and then, then we're good. <laughs> I won a game, smile. I'm gonna change to a meta to... Actually, yeah, I don't have fucking anything to do. I'm gonna change it to defense. Watch out for top deck spear soldier. <laughs> <laughs> if I die, I die. <laughs> I mean, he's gonna do like, what, 900 damage? 900, yeah. Fuck, actually, is a good point. That's a good point, yeah! <laughs> it's not even about Tomato, but some other cards that I was considering saying, but like, mm. <laughs> I actually died if you, if you, if you spear soldiers, so uh, I'm just gonna set this instead and uh, set a card and pass. Uh, Hit me with the tornado. No tornado, okay. By main. Um... Ooh, this is interesting. Mm. I think I'll normal summon one of my tomatoes. Mm -hmm. Um. Yeah, I think we keep this there, and then we're, we should be we should be fine. Um, I'll enter combat guard into tomato. That is fine. Uh, tomato is gonna die. Can we float? Uh, floating is absolutely fine. Yeah. Okay. What targets do we even fucking have at this point? Uh. There should definitely be another tomato. <laughs> Which? Ooh, um, that, that complicates things. Um, does it? It actually does. <laughs> Interesting. Um, I'll tomato into that face down. Show me the third tomato. <laughs> what is twist? Um... I don't have any targets. <laughs> I'm pretty sure at least I was I was I was kind of betting on that being a tomato, but I'll be damned, it is not. <laughs> yeah. Um. 
It happens to be not a tomato. Um, it happens to be no targets in deck. I'll pass on. I will draw. Well, that's fucking. That's just funny, isn't it? Uh, damn. The only book fucking. The only book is making fun of me this round, man. <laughs> I think after three snatch steals, you know. <laughs> and that's actually kind of fair. <laughs> Fuck. Four cards in hand, Jesus Christ. <laughs> well, I'm gonna set a card. I'm gonna fucking change this to defense. And we're gonna pass. Right, draw for turn. Uh, Don't have a spear turn. soldier. <laughs> Uh, 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 um. I think I'll combat 15 into yeah. that face down. It is a moth, so at least I'll pick up a uh, nobleman. You will That's not, because we are under Necro Valley. Damn. That kind of fucking blows. Wait, <laughs> let me read Necro Valley again. <laughs> let me read Necro Valley again. This time I remembered it! <laughs> I would move a card in the graveyard. Okay. I guess fucking. There were no, uh, no, no movement. No <laughs> movement. I'm no not movement. seeing any movement. <laughs> Damn. Um, the most embarrassing clip of that man's career. <laughs> um, I think we, we, we pass it here. We, we, we... <laughs> you don't want to attack? <laughs> no, we, we, we be passing here. Okay. Normal summon a... Hysteric Fairy? Is that okay? Hysteric Fairy is fine, yeah. Mm-hmm. Battle phase swing against uh, guard. For 300. I'll take three here, yeah. And then pass. Oh, winnable. Rafatan, stand by main. Let's see how winnable this is. Um. Oh no. <laughs> I'll swap this guard to attack. Uh, He's 15, I will okay. Normal summon a copy of Exiled Force. Uh. That's okay. Uh. Okay, this doesn't I'll actually do this. Exile Force, Pop Hysteric Fairy. Okay, wait, so... Oh, uh, damn. That's one thing I'm scared of right now. <laughs> uh, yeah, Hysteric Fairy is okay. What, what, my body? I'm gonna change my body. <laughs> uh, I'll combat 14. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna attempt to compulse. <laughs> I'll be tomato. fucking damned, you s Uh, Compulse is fine, yeah. Yeah, this is my, uh, the spin. Yeah, that's the spin. Jesus, yeah, okay, I didn't, I didn't expect that. Um... I mean, there was no way you could, like, play around it realistically. Yeah, cause, like, that, cause I was like, okay, my body might be smile, you know? I mean, what do I do with my body? Uh... I kill myself with my body. Oh, you can't even my body, true. Um... <laughs> I'll... Got into which then I guess. Okay, she's gonna die. I'm gonna search. I'm gonna pick up a set. No. <laughs> gonna pick up a set, smile. Okay, that guard is 15. Uh. Wait, was that a mistake, smile? <laughs> Maybe. Uh, probably was. Does this trigger? No, yeah, I can. No, effects can trigger in. It can effects trigger in graveyard. Effects like floating can effects. trigger they in can. the graveyard. Yeah. <laughs> Necrobat is okay. not that insane. I don't know, dude. <laughs> I didn't get my moth. Uh, moth recycle. Yeah, because moth moves a card from the graveyard to a different place. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, I don't know what exactly Necrovelli does. It just negates the graveyard. I, I, um, I don't read cards, my. <laughs> <laughs> That's too much. Necrovelli uh, is this 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 card that people that just activate Red Eyes Fusion summon Dragoon set four activate. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to pick up a Shining Angel. Shining. That's probably the wrong play, but fuck it. Um, that is, yeah, that is a thing. Um, that do be a thing. I'll pass here then, I guess. I'm gonna draw. That is not that useful at the moment. I'm gonna set a card and pass. I'll it could be literally anything. Stand by me. That's kind of nice. Not gonna lie. <laughs> <laughs> but does it do chief. something right now? Does it do something? It's Portal Greed question? into Chief, into, I don't know, Monster Reborn into eight monsters. I'll normal summon Seven negates, tomato six again. negates, that's fine. Uh, I'll combat Guard into Face Down. 
It's a Shining Angel. Who would have thought? That is going to be fine, yep. You attack with the guard? With the guard, yep. Okay, that's kind of important. I'm gonna summon the Shining Angel. Uh, I'll crash tomato. Sure, we both get to float. Uh, I guess, I think you go first, right? Uh, I go first, yeah. I'll just uh, grab a... <sighs> Wait, uh... Both are mandatory, no, but both are optional, right? Both are mandatory, yeah. Yeah, no, you, uh, both, both are actually optional, optional. yeah. Optional, um... Uh, I don't think this... Let's, let's not worry about this, it probably won't matter. <laughs> I'll just uh, grab well, another tomato. Uh, well, I only have one target. I'm gonna special summon roulette barrel and he has to go into attack. Feels bad, uh, man. That is going to be something. Uh, I'll tomato into roulette barrel then. Yeah, that's gonna be 400. <sighs> we are getting ever so close. <laughs> never. <laughs> uh, we shall never surrender. <laughs> The fucking Ted Cruz clip. <laughs> <laughs> or you could be quoting Winston Churchill, that would also work. Um, I'll pass him. I'm gonna draw. Oh my god! Killed C, do I lose here? I think I do. <laughs> There's a good chance you do, yeah. There is... Okay. I'm going to set a card. And pray. Well, <laughs> Stand by main. Um, let's show you the interesting top deck I was talking about. I will trip oh God. the guard for the one and only chief effect. Chief. And you're gonna summon, and it's not gonna matter. Yeah. Bring out a guard. I'll enter combat. Um, I think we do go twenty-four here. It is a Tsukuyomi. I'm uh, gonna just screenshot my hand so you can see it later. I'm not gonna show it yet because uh, it shows uh, certain cards are, that don't want you to know. Is, but I'm is, gonna is just. This is a game, Smile. <laughs> it is a. It is a game. It is admit defeat. New Year's like, resolution our... fulfilled. Let's fucking go. <laughs> <laughs> we have achieved New Year. We resolution. have achieved victory. <laughs> die, I die. Let's go. Let's. Famous go. last words. <laughs> if I die, I die. Famous last words. Good luck. Good luck, man. Good luck, good luck. Let's go draw main phase one. That's a hand. That's interesting. Once again, I'm normal summoning a Mystic Tomato and passing. I will draw for turn. Stand by main. Um. Okay. Uh, let's yeah, activate the reforming. Let's let's. <laughs> I wish, dude. Um. I don't. <laughs> let's let's think about this for a moment. Um, cause this is interesting. Hmm. I see new cards, my <laughs> Activate Necrovelli, set uh, for pass. <laughs> I think I'll just hit you with a very simple set pass. Okay, I'm gonna draw. And almost summon Kaiku. I had us fine. Hmm. I mean, we just go, I guess. We go. Battle face. We go to combat. Haiku. God. <laughs> Fucking. I'll bounce the tomato. Oh. The tomato? Sure. Yep. Um. That's fine. I'll draw for turn. I stand by main. Um. I think I'll do this before that, and then we, then we, then we see. Uh, let's fire a pot of three. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um. Imperial order. <laughs> um, do I do this now? Uh, admit defeat. Yeah. Uh, I think it doesn't seem terrible to be honest on the spot state. Um. <laughs> <laughs> admitting defeat, not admitting defeat. <laughs> <laughs> Admit uh, defeat. Yeah, that doesn't seem terrible. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this go. This is already going in the next year's highlights. My <laughs> yeah, on this year's highlights. Out of context, clip. <laughs> out of context, fucking okay, admitting defeat. Yeah, on this spot, there. You know, sure, why not? <laughs> I think you should post that in the server. I'll tribute like great plus guard for a new card. I will tribute Monka? summon the end of Anubis. What the fuck is this? It's a Wait. walking necro valley. 
While this face up card is on the uh, is when this card is face up on the field, all effects of spell traps and monster cards that target cards in the graveyard or that activate in the graveyard are negated. So I can banish, right? Uh, you can banish for you know summoning conditions. Yes, that is correct. Yeah, I I specifically checked that to make sure. Yeah, um, but hey, everything Stevie else <laughs> that involves the graveyard is a big no no. <laughs> I mean, I cannot target cards, so that's it. Um, or activate cards in the graveyard. combat. Uh, Show me Dark Honest, Smile. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm gonna activate Dark Honest from like, uh, what is it, Lightning Overdrive or whatever? Lightning Overdrive, yeah. No, that's like 700, yep. 700. That's a new, that's a, that's a secret rare from this that's set, right? That's a secret rare from this set, yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's kind of cool, I'd say. For like... It's for your deck, it works. For specifically Gravekeepers, yeah. Um, I'll set one, pass. I'll draw. Damn, I'm gonna... I'm gonna Nobleman. I'll chain the Sunny to target Nobleman. Damn. Just so it doesn't get banished, smile. <laughs> I don't Smashing know. round? Uh, yeah, that's a thing. <clears throat> Mystic Tomato for... Has the Pokemon. highest defense. <laughs> zero, when zero is the highest. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, uh, oh wait, that's a, that would be a that would be a whole lot of damage for when only one Mystic Tomato. <laughs> what is it, like fourteen thousand? <laughs> I am put twenty five. <laughs> Stamp twenty five thousand. Uh, uh, two thousand five hundred. Um. Oh, okay. <laughs> that's um, insane tomato, dude. Nice tomato, am I right? Um, Mystic Tomato with Archfiend Axe, dude. <laughs> I think I am going to set one, mm -hmm. and then I'll pass. I will draw. Well, I'm gonna normal summon Mad Dog. Let's go with Mad Dog. Um, Moth effect. Ooh, fuck. I assume you don't have an effect veiler or something. <laughs> Uh, I mean, effect will be no, yeah, because yeah, yeah, it um, it's only opponents. But I, I don't think you know you have anything to respond to Moth, Am I right? I have a Mystic Tomato. Uh, yeah, those fourteen hundred will be fine. <laughs> mystic Tomato beat down. I got that gonna oh, got you on a third button, three, yeah. three turn. I think. Yeah, wait, no. I'll fire Pog again. Uh, that's fine. No don't ash. have the IO. No Ash. No Ash. No IO. Um, oh, you're gonna like this one. I'll monster reborn targeting the end of Anubis. Oh my god, that's fine. Mm, let's bring this boy back. Uh, how do we back him up is the question. Uh, you I think Zombira is a good choice. Um, uh, that's fine. I'll combat. If I'm not completely wrong, the end of Anubis should negate Mystic Tomato, right? Because while he's on the field, all effects that target cards in the graveyard or that activate in the graveyard are negated. Oh shit, uh, I think it does, because it does, I'm pretty sure uh, Tomato activates in the grave. Yeah, because yeah, in Sent to Grave, it does. The Damn, updates. one hell of a card. Um, I was thinking about the next turn. Oh, this Mystic Tomato is going to be big, and then it's not going to be big. And then it's not going to be big. Uh, Zombira the Dark into Mad Dog of Darkness. <sighs> That's fine. It's going to be 200. And this Zombira gonna is lose. going to go down to 19. I'll, uh, the end of Anubis, that tomato. 411. Yep. I'll make effect. Two. Copium. Um... Yeah, and I think that will be a pass to me. Wait, does Moth resolve? We just talked about that. Yeah, it does resolve. Wait. Yeah, because the end of Anubis wasn't on the field at that point. Alright, yeah, fuck. Uh, Moth doesn't resolve then, right? Uh, Moth doesn't, no. Because Moth targets a card in the grave, right? Yeah, targets fuck. a card in the grave. That's, that's a turn. Can okay, I have right. Regeki? Can it resolve? I Can that Regeki. resolve? Oh my god. Um. Uh... Oh, what a cool card, Regeki. Right? It burns for 1500. It burns for 1500. <laughs> oh, this is terrible. They were just, oh, you have a hand that's like four cards that's fucking. Activated the grave. Grave. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
What okay, if you I... wanted to use the graveyard, but your opponent was like, what if we played Gravekeepers? <laughs> okay. All Chaos cards work in Ender Discipline, so that's something. Yeah, you could uh, potentially... Uh, well, you oh you could God. summon Dark Arm Dragon, you know? <laughs> I can summon Dark Arm Dragon, yeah. In Ancient... Uh, in Ancient Sanctuary. Uh, yeah. Is it Ancient Sanctuary? No, Ancient Sanctuary is a 5D set. Doesn't matter. <laughs> it's a shit set, doesn't matter. I'll set a card and pass. Uh, I'll end phase Raigeki Break, discarding Gravekeeper's Guard, popping the face down. Okay, I don't lose this. Maybe. Because, uh, like, okay. Zombira cannot attack directly, so I'm yeah, fine. Yeah, Zombira cannot uh, attack directly, that is correct. Stand by main. Um. What did you discard? Guard, okay. Uh, discarded guard, yeah. Uh, 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 um. Do I do this? Ah, do I want to do this is the question. How much do we, how much do we, um, how much do we do? Um. 25 with uh, Nubis. Mm. I think I'll set one. Enter combat for 25. Mm -hmm. Main two, set one, pass turn. Okay. Well, it all rides on this. I'm gonna banish a light in the dark. Oh, I, uh, Jesus Christ, it's happening! Oh my god, it's happening! <laughs> Everybody <Yeah>. stay calm! <laughs> To summon a uh, chaos sorcerer, is that okay? Uh, let me think on that for a moment. The fuck, dude, if you have, you win. <laughs> if you don't, you don't. I saw that. Uh, uh, what is that? That is 1850, if I'm not completely wrong. That is 1850 indeed. Declare priority, banish. <laughs> Declare priority, <laughs> chain priority. Wait, can you even priority chain to spell speed 3? I think, uh, no, he summons and then priority oh, chaos yeah. sorcerer effect. Priority kick, priority kick chaos <laughs> so That's a cool mechanic. Jeez, priority was so stupid. Uh, I think I just lost the game. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest. Wait, Zombira is, uh, 19. 19 yeah. Fuck, dude. I'm gonna normal summon... Mad bitch of darkness, attack the face down. It's gonna be a guard or a spy. It's a spy. <laughs> can I spy effect? Ah, you can spy effect, I'll take a hundred. I'll just... I guess I'll bring out the second copy. 25 and 12 is 37, which means I lose. Oh, that is already game on board, yeah. I'll draw for time. Yeah, because yeah, you can just down. crash, don't be real. Let's roll out the spear soldier. Crash the Zombira. I'll spear soldier and I'll let End of Anubis finish this one. Holy fuck! Damn, I this lost went, the week. <laughs> this went better than expected. What the fuck? Okay, you want to see my insane hand from uh, at the end of uh, round two? I'll, I'll I'll look at it later. I'll look at it later. Okay. Um, in Discord. You you will you are probably on like full full chaos, right? Ah, uh, I guess I can show you my deck. Do the mill five thing again, smile. Also look at this card for um, my hand at the end of the last um, V. <laughs> v mill five. Yeah, I'm just <laughs> spamming that shit in. But yeah, um... Oh damn. my god. You, wa you want to hear something fun? <laughs> sure. Game one I was still... Uh, uh, game one I was actually main decking BLS. <laughs> Why did you not? Why did you not main deck it now? Or I cited uh, BLS and a few of the lights out for uh, the end of Anubis, uh, Zombira the Dark, and the Cliff, uh, the, the trap removing boy. Mm, damn. Because uh, there's just so few good lights. What do you mean? There's Moth. There's the uh, the Borg. Yeah, which I didn't pull, Smile. Oh wait, you pulled well, then... a f you pulled a fucking Zaborg. What? Are you what? I pulled the Zaborg. That's the oh, only good card I pulled from like man. a whole box of this shit. <laughs> I didn't pull Feral, man. I want to say I pulled 
I want to say I pulled basically nothing from that set, but to be fair, I got like... Yeah, the... see, this is what happens when I main Jinzo. I lose. This is why Jinzo's bad. Jinzo bad. <laughs> he didn't come up the whole game, but he's bad. He's bad, smile. <laughs> yeah, also you looked at my uh, hand, right? I... In Discord. I didn't, I didn't. I'll probably do that later. I'll input okay, it, it now, and, and it's probably going to be terrible. Whoa, that's a that's a fucking brick hand, you know? It's going to be on screen right now. Yeah, that's a, that's a, that's a huge brick. Uh, double You're CD. not looking, are you? No, I'm not looking. I'm still in the fucking blooding <laughs> box. It's CD, Chaos Sorcerer, Raigeki, and Zaborg. Bo all under Necro Valley, right? All under Necro Valley. It'd be like <laughs> No that. monsters on board, nothing. It'd be like that. Yeah, I was... I mean, I... Oh, I, I pulled three Night Assailants, so I was playing two of that. The, the deck's really not that... You know, it's it's noodle soup, you know? <laughs> mm-hmm. You know, to 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 make it special, you just have to believe it's special. Okay, dude, listen like, here. Like, I feel like my deck really isn't that. You know, it. Yeah, this it, is why I play Berserk Gorilla. Yeah, it specifically <laughs> was the really good in this matchup. Um, I was. Funny yeah, enough, Chaos is not worth playing against. Uh, fucking Necro Valley. Uh, cause like uh, I was specifically also game one, by the way, which I also cited out after I saw that you were not on the uh, Earth Beatdown deck. Um. I was on one copy of Yami. To try to break my Gaia power? Yep. That's fucking terrible. <laughs> <laughs> what well, am I going to do? Please... Play a Mystic Plasma Zone and then be like, yeah. yep, cut Spy down to 16 and Guard down to 19? Uh, guard okay, down but to just play him attack. You have great uh, Spear Soldier at 2k, you have uh, Zombira at 26, Anubis at 3k. Um, Chief at 24. I mean, Anubis at 25 apparently is enough, smile. <laughs> or 20, 24, whatever. I mean, to be fair, like, uh, Anubis at 25 already gets over a lot, but damn, this, this man put in work. This man put in work, damn. He can fucking fuck off. <laughs> I mean, he has, like... A, I guess uh, the most like epic crossover synergy with the deck in in general. So I wasn't mad about pulling him, especially because he's twenty five. You know. Yeah. He do be chonking. He's all right. Zero uh, defense though. Yeah. Just a card that Tsukuyomi can actually out. Feels good, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's not a lot of those. There's not a lot of those. But yeah, you got your your one compulse, Maya. <laughs> Yeah, I got my one compulse. No, I was hoping for a, no for a foil, foil so I can get a BLS, yeah. but oh well. Understand. I mean, not like it would matter in uh, against the Necro fucking Necro Valley. <laughs> yeah. It was just really unfortunate. I, it it doesn't matter. Like. But yeah, next next week I do have some, some ideas. Maybe we will see something new and I can stop boring people with Gravekeepers. <laughs> yeah, well, maybe I'm going to play something new as well. We'll see, we'll see. Um... I don't know. Why don't we play Black Wing? <laughs> Why don't we play Black Wings? Um, do you maybe have any final words? Um, fuck Necro Valley. It's a dumb fuck card. Necrovelli. This is this is the follow up to to fuck Gravekeepers, and yeah. with all that out of the way, share if you play Gravekeepers, and we'll thank you guys very much for watching, and see you guys again next time. But until then, goodbye.